let's learn about the reproductive system. The function of the reproductive system is to produce gametes, either eggs or sperm, in order to pass on genetic material to the offspring. One sperm fertilizes one egg in the fallopian tube, resulting in formation of a zygote that has genetic material from both parents. The zygote divides and becomes an embryo that will travel to the uterus, where it implants into the endometrium and grows for the next nine months. Hormones control the production of sperm and eggs. GnRH is a hormone released by the hypothalamus that controls the release of LH and FSH from the anterior pituitary. LH and FSH regulate the release of the sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone from the gonads. Testosterone regulates the continuous production of sperm in the testes. Estrogen and progesterone, on the other hand, control the release of one egg each month from the ovary and also regulate the lining in the uterus, known as the endometrium, to help it get ready for an embryo. This monthly sequence of events is known as the menstrual cycle. Let's look at the key events. At the start of each cycle, FSH signals one follicle in the ovary to grow. Inside the follicle is the immature egg. The growing follicle releases estrogen, which tells the endometrium to grow. Estrogen also signals the anterior pituitary to release more LH, which triggers ovulation, the release of an egg. Once the egg is released, the remaining follicle transforms into the corpus luteum, which releases estrogen and progesterone. These hormones tell the endometrium to secrete nutrients in anticipation of embryo implantation. If fertilization does not occur, the corpus luteum degenerates and stops secreting estrogen and progesterone. Without these hormones, the uterine lining is shed, which is known as menstruation, and the cycle begins again with a new follicle. As you can see, it takes a lot of hormonal coordination to get the body ready to reproduce.